<laughs> oh my god. And welcome to a day that I can't believe that we're already at. Today is, hang on, day 20. We've been on the road for 20 days. That means after this episode, there is only 10 episodes left of this series. I cannot believe it's gone so fast. But at the same time, it feels like it's been an age. I don't know if that makes sense. I think I said this in an earlier video, but like the video with Will France at the beginning and Just Ed, they feel like ages ago. But yeah, we're on day 20. Um, Today, the plan is very, very, very simple. I want to go to my parents' house so I have somewhere to watch the football this evening, and it's going to give me the opportunity to clean Betty up. Uh, not sure how I'm going to figure out how I'm going to get the collab element in there, because I do need to challenge someone, because after yesterday's win, I feel a miraculous comeback coming on. Anyway, let's see what Charlie's sub-challenge for today is. Decided I'm going to just rip this one open. Oh, satisfying. <laughs> oh my god. Find some eggs, juggle the eggs, eat the eggs. <laughs> right, find some eggs, juggle the eggs, eat the eggs. Brilliant. By the way, Dom, this is still excellent coffee. The perfect accompaniment for a chocolate digestive. Right, I'm pretty much already packed up, so I'm going to finish this and we'll be on our way. This is actually miserable, oh my god. I am so glad I am not sleeping in the van tonight because this is horrendous. This is horrendous. So I've already sort of said that I'm going to my parents' house now because I want somewhere to watch the football tonight and it's hopefully gonna give me a chance to just make sure that Betty's all in order, give her a bit of a clean, clean out some of the bits in here. But I'll be honest with you, the other reason why I'm doing it is because I'm sort of a little bit exhausted. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I am not complaining. This trip has been awesome, but it's also been very tiring. Like I am filming and editing and meeting new people and doing all these things all the time. And it's just catching up with me a little bit today. So I'm being a proper child about it. I'm going home, I'm gonna let my mum cook me dinner and I'm probably gonna have a bath because apparently my parents' new place has got a bath with jets in it. It's like a bubble bath. I'm gonna have a, yeah. So basically, I'm going home to be looked after by my mum. And I'm not even sorry. Just gotta try and get through all this crappy weather. This is appalling. home. Time to uh, give Betty a clean. It's not like she's filthy, but you know, I keep it quite tidy, but there's only so much you can do when you're on the road, so time for a nice deep clean. Right, let's do it. Shall we do montage? Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. bum. <laughs> 
Mum? Have you got any eggs? Yeah, I've got eggs. You've got eggs. Okay, good. Can I have three? Okay, yeah. Juggling with eggs feels like a bad idea, but Mum's just said she's got a dozen. So, let's figure out how to juggle. Way up with more throws and catches until you can run the pattern for a longer time, and just like that, you're juggling. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you for watching. And just like that, you're juggling. Alright, I'm gonna have to try with something that isn't eggs first. Not actually convinced I'm ever going to get the hang of this. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to try with eggs. I'm just, I'm just going to try with eggs. Three eggs. Cheers, Charlie, for choosing um, an activity that was definitely going to end in a disaster. Not impressed with that at all. Right, I've come into the garden because I remember like hearing on Taskmaster that if an egg drops on grass, it doesn't break. That's like a design thing, like if an egg was to fall from a nest. So, gives me a few more attempts at this. I'm really not looking forward to this. See? Oh. Would well, you know what? You didn't say successfully juggle. The problem with the grass thing is when it rolls onto not the grass. Okay, three eggs need to be eaten. Three egg cheese and ham omelette, eaten. Now I've not really included my parents in this video yet and that's partly because I think it's quite nice to have some things which just aren't on YouTube, but I do need to do a challenge against someone today. So I am gonna have to have one of them in the video, but I've also just thought of an idea, which means I have an excuse to film the dogs because they can go on camera, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. Do one of you two wanna help me in a challenge? Dad will help you in a challenge. Yeah, yeah. Dad. <laughs> Name one of the dogs. Roxy. Roxy, okay. Which means I get Lexi. We're gonna race to see which dog finishes their dinner first. I think you might win. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi is the greedier of the two dogs. Let me introduce you to the competitors. In my corner is Lexi. Now Lexi is a very, very greedy dog, so I'm pretty happy with my choice here. In Dad's corner is Roxy, who is a much more calm and relaxed dog, but she can be greedy on her day, so you never know, it might be closer than I think. It's feeding time yet. I think it can be feeding time. It can be feeding time. As soon as I get a tin out, you'll see them getting loud, getting loud. Go on then, get a tin out and let's see. Ah, yes. There we go. <laughs> so just to clarify, the competition is Dad's gonna put their food down at the same time and whoever finishes their food first is the winner. Very excited. New marks. Get set. Go. Oh, Lexi, look at that. That is an empty bowl. Winner! <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Dad said Roxy, I knew I had a good chance. I knew I had a good chance. <laughs> I think you're done now. Good girl. Good girl. Right. Challenge done. Probably 
it out. So I appreciate that today's video has been quite different from the rest of the videos in this trip. It's maybe been a slightly different place and that's largely because today I, I've treated it as a bit of a rest day, a bit of a chance to recoup and sort of regather myself. And I'll be honest with you, I'm probably going to end the video fairly soon so that I can just relax with my parents this evening. I don't get to see them that often. So what's gonna happen now is we're gonna have a barbecue and then we're gonna watch the football. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you again to everyone who keeps watching and supporting these videos. Please keep commenting. I really, really, really love reading your comments. Um, it's been a nice day today, but we are back on the road tomorrow. Back on the way to Somerset tomorrow, which I don't know if I've ever been there before. I assume I have, but either way. I also just want to quickly say thank you to everyone who bought a t-shirt from dbadshop.com yesterday. I was amazed by how many people actually pick one up as soon as I mentioned it. I, thank you, that's incredible. Really is incredible. Thank you to everyone. Uh, here's some clips of me enjoying a barbecue and watching the football and hopefully celebrating the fact that it's coming home. I'm sure that I will be celebrating the fact it's coming home. Definitely, definitely. Talk about football coming home. And then one night in Rome, we were strong. We had grown. Right, well now I've got to figure out where I'm going to watch the football on Friday. Um, good chance I'm going to be in Cardiff. So, make of that what you will. On that note, if there's anyone in Wales, Cardiff, who wants to meet on Tuesday, or maybe Bristol, maybe Bath, I don't know. Anyone in those places that wants to meet up, get in touch, Instagram at john.rochford but yeah that that's the end of the video don't be a dick there we go turn the light off you know dramatic ending turn it back on again to turn the camera off <laughs>